Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be seeing if I could beat every single one of King Dice's minions with the worst damage setup. And on Expert, obviously. So, like I said in the intro, we're going to be doing the entire King Dice boss fight, every single minion, with the worst damage setup. If you don't know, the worst damage setup is the Chaser Charm, because it does the least amount of damage combined with that two extra hit points because that decreases your damage and for our super we have invincibility because that does no damage at all for this challenge i'm going to show the entire boss fight every single minion plus the final boss fight and i'm just going to explain my strategy for it just because it's kind of weird if i just have a 13 minute clip of me barely talking at all so i'm going to explain my strategy for each boss then let you watch the rest of it and then we're going to go on to the next boss where I'll do the same thing. The first mini boss of this boss fight is going to be the Tipsy Troop. The strategy for this was to kill the tiny one first and then once he was dead, it didn't really matter which one I killed next. I just wanted to kill him first because he's annoying. With that boss finished, we roll another one and then go to verse the next boss, which is going to be Chip's Bedigan. So for this boss fight, I don't have to worry about aiming because I have the chaser. But basically what I want to do is I want to use my EX as much as possible because some of his patterns are very annoying to dodge. And what I want to do is I want to stay a bit far from the corner because that gives me enough room to dash over the little chip down at the bottom so I can duck under everything else. But if I stay in the very corner, then he might stack up chips there and I can take damage easily. So I kind of want to float off the side of that. And other than that, I just keep shooting until he dies. <laughs> Luckily for us, we didn't take any damage there, but we're gonna get another extra heart just because that's how it works. But yeah, our next boss is gonna be Mr. Wheezy. Mr. Wheezy is going to be one of the hardest bosses in this challenge, just because of how big his health bar is. It's not that bad of a boss fight dodging wise, but I have to dodge for so long just because his health bar is really really big and I do like no damage. So yeah, there's not much of a strategy here, it's just focus on dodging and because I don't have to focus on aiming. So it's just jump between the fireballs and then jump across when he disappears and yeah, just keep doing that till he's dead.
Alright, first three bosses done, and we're already five minutes in. This is going to take forever. Anyways, we roll another one, and we're on to verse Pip and Dot. Like I said, the next boss is Pippin Dot. Now, Pippin Dot, as a regular boss fight, is really easy, and with the Chaser, it's even easier. All I have to do is just make sure I don't get cut off by the weird dice things. I don't know what they are. But yeah, I just want to make sure I don't get cut off by those, and I don't really have to worry about the minions as much, because I can just jump over the top of them. And I just gotta watch out for the spikes in the floor and make sure not to dash into them, and it's a pretty easy boss fight. Now this is where the true problem is, Hoppus Pocus. Even without the worst damage setup, this boss fight's absolutely terrible. Unless you're Miss Chalice or you have the Smoke Dash, then you're pretty much guaranteed to take damage on this unless you're like the best player of all time, which obviously I'm not, so yeah. The part with the spinning rabbit skulls is just completely annoying and it's really unfair because sometimes you can get places where it's like almost impossible to actually get out of there with the smoke dash and I'm not allowed the smoke dash so I'm basically guaranteed to take damage so all I really did here was use my invincibility as much as possible so then I didn't have to deal with any of that and parry as much as possible so I could get my invincibility again and yeah with pretty much just damage tanking with the invincibility and my hit points we killed him Okay. Okay. That was clean. That was decent. That was moderately clean. You know, I'd say that's like... Like... Clean after you let your dog lick your plate. It looks clean, but if you eat off of it, you're gross. Okay, our next boss is going to be Fear Lap. Now for Fear Lap, I wanted to use my super art as much as possible just because it's really easy to take dumb damage on this boss fight. So with a combination of just using my bullets as much as possible, parrying, and using the super, we actually beat this boss fight pretty fast, so I'll take it. Alright, six bosses down, and we're basically at our starting HP, because we're back at five, so not bad. Our next boss is going to be Pirouetta. So, worst damage setup or not, this boss fight sucks ass, and there's really nothing I can do about it. I don't have the smoke dash, so I can't smoke dash through her legs, and whenever she spawns the balls, there's like no escape ever. 
Sometimes there is, but it's like very, very minuscule. So there's nothing I can really do about it. So what do I do? Just use my invincibility whenever I can and hope that I don't take damage. And that's pretty much it. With that boss done, our next boss gives us another extra hit point, and it's literally the easiest boss in this whole game, Mangosteen. So there's no strategy to this, I just want to dodge everything as best as I can, and if I take damage you might as well send me to the dump, because I hopefully won't. But yeah, there's nothing I can really say about this boss, it's literally the easiest in the entire game, so yeah. With 4 HP to our name and our super built up, we're going to go to the final mini boss of this challenge, Mr. Chimes. For this boss fight, I remembered the first two that I had to parry and then I forgot everything else. I'm going to use my super in a bit, just because if you don't know, you can use your super and skip the entire phase, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm going to just shoot him as much as possible and try my best not to aggro him. Because if I get one wrong, then he speeds up and goes in completely random directions. And I really don't want that to happen because I don't want to take any hits, so yeah. And like I said, just for the memes, I hit the start over, so enjoy me going all the way back, because... 
content. For the memes. Alright, the final boss of this challenge, and he's pretty easy. I do this boss fight a lot because he's my favorite boss fight, so I really just want to parry as much as possible, use my super even though it doesn't do anything, and I just want to use my EXs whenever I can because they do a lot of damage, especially when I can get up close to him, and it's basically like the spread EX, but a little bit worse. Oh, I can't do another EX. Let's go, baby! <laughs> so, to answer the question, if there even was one, can you beat King Dice with killing all the minions on expert with the worst damage setup um the answer is yes thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye